Yeah. Tonight on CTV News at 5. And to, to meet these guys and to have them come here is, is really great. For those of you missing the boys of summer, good news. The Blue Jays are visiting Canadian troops right here in the Maritimes. We'll tell you who and where tonight. Live from the Maritimes News Center, this is CTV News with Maria Panapalis and Jason Baxter. Hello and welcome to CTV News at 5 on this Monday. I'm Amanda Devison. I'm Jason Baxter. Thank you for joining us. So was it harder than normal to get out of bed today? Feeling a little down in the dumps? Blue Monday could be the reason. Or it could be because it's the third week in January. It's cold. You just got your Christmas credit card bill. And it's Monday, so we'll try and find out if it really is the most depressing day on the calendar or just a clever marketing ploy in just a few minutes' time. Also tonight, picking up the scent. The eggs as well. Up, up, find it. The best way to combat bed bugs doesn't involve technology. It's the advanced olfactory abilities of man's best friend. Meet Robert and Cruz, the bed bug unit, this half hour. Well, coming up next, the bed bug unit. It is. It's very impressive. Especially when they can find one and down one or two at a time. And, and the Meet Robert and Cruz, who are tracking down the bad guys. In this case, bed bugs. Find out how they do it when we return. We are in a bed bug free hotel room in the Halifax area. This hotel has been kind enough to let us come in so we could show you the latest in tracking down those uh, little pests. This is uh, Robert uh, Little and his five year old partner, Cruz. Cruz has an amazing ability, like most dogs do, to track down a scent. So, Robert, we appreciate you being here. Robert, by the way, is with Orkin Canada, and this is a canine team, as I mentioned, based out of Halifax and servicing all three maritime provinces. So, give us a little idea of what uh, Cruz is going to do here today. Well, Jason, you can uh, place a little hide. It's where the. Uh with a vial with live bed bugs in it to find. Just a couple of bed bugs in there? Three, that's it. Yeah, we're going to make sure that thing three. doesn't open up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah. And uh, we'll bring Cruz in and let him do his thing and track him down, see where they are. So these are the bad guys. There are three bed bugs in this tiny little vial. And what I'm going to do right now is find a spot somewhere in the room to hide it. We're only going to give Cruz two minutes and then bring him in to see if he can find it. I'm thinking maybe, can't believe, I never thought I'd be doing something like this in a hotel room, can you imagine? Let's slip it under the covers. Slip it under the covers right there. Perfect. All right, Robert, Cruz, two minutes have passed. Come on in here, guys. We'll get a look at, uh, maybe you can take us through the steps of how you find something like this. Let's go find it. Any living thing, bugs give off a pheromone. And that's what he's searching for, is that scent of the pheromone. Yeah. It's incredible how strong their olfactory sense is. It is. It's very impressive. Especially when they can find one and down, one or two at a time. And, and the eggs as well. Up, up, find it. He's alerting to me that there's something around this area. When he sits and, and the back he looks sits at you, he's telling you yep. we're close? Exactly. So he's trying to narrow it down exactly to where it is. Good boy. Good boy. Where is he? Good boy. Now here I tell him good boy, I praise him for finding what he found. And that's kind of a team effort as well. I gotta look and see exactly where it is, where the bugs are located. But he knows it's close. His he behavior knows changed close. as he soon knows as he got something to the there. You can see the change in his behavior, how intense he's searching and sniffing. Good boy, good boy. He knows. Good boy. Yeah. It doesn't take him very long, as you could see with that. That scent has only been in the room for a couple minutes, so. Yeah. So if you found, you know, three or four bed bugs like mm -hmm. that, what would you do in that case if they were actually in the bed? In the bed? <clears throat> um, once we locate a spot of bugs, we don't just get up and say, okay, we found it. We check the entire room and make sure there's no bugs anywhere else in that room. The people at home know how much I love dogs, but I, I'm not patting him right now because he's in work mode. And he's, he's smelling my wallet in my pocket there. I hope there's no bed bugs in the wallet. <laughs> 
So Robert, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And Robert and Cruz are both with uh, Work in Canada and travel around the maritime provinces doing this very exact thing. That's awesome. May have to go through my wallet there. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> he he seemed to be on to something, didn't he? Yes, he seemed really happy there. Uh, but I appreciate it, Robert and Cruz, uh, the, the uh, bed bug team, the canine unit from uh, Work in Canada. It was wow. pretty cool to see how they work like it that. So, it was amazing. I never knew that there was a team like that that could do something They have about like 25 that. hotels in the area as well that they're regular clients. They don't go in when there's a problem. The hotels okay. bring them in every few weeks or once a month just to make sure that they don't have any issue. Wow. And um, it's not very common in hotels. They said typically where they see problems is in seniors' homes mm. and uh, apartment buildings with a lot wow. of units. That's where it's more common. Unfortunately. Yikes. But you know who to call if you. What if you had crews at home and you started sniffing around your bed? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> then you know you're in trouble. <laughs>